When someone asks me who the best NASCAR driver of all time is, it doesn't take me very long to think of the answer. Chase Elliott came into NASCAR from humble beginnings with no family ties to the sport whatsoever. The first race he won in the top three divisions was at a new track in the truck series called Canadian Tire. This is very impressive because he won in the cleanest way imaginable. Also, he won in the country of Canada, which is very impressive. Then in 2014, Chase Elliott won three nationwide races and the championship. To this day, no one knows quite how he did it, due to the insane amount of leeches in the series at that time, such as Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Larson, and many more. It also is impressive that Chase Elliott was able to win three times against such a decorated field, easily cementing him as one of the greatest of his era already. In 2016, Chase Elliott made his move to the Cup Series in the iconic 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports. Because of the number he drove, he automatically deserved to be in the top 5 greatest drivers of all time conversation. In his time in the 24 mobile, he did nothing noteworthy except owning the bozo named Denny Hamlin. Then in 2018, Elliott stayed at Hendrick, but he moved to the number 9 car. No one is exactly sure why he made this decision, but some speculate it as something to do with his love for Canadian Tire. Canadian Tire is 12 turns, and take Ty Dillon's number 3 truck and subtract it by 12. What do you get? Number 9. So anyway, in 2018, Elliott decided he really liked road courses and won again at New York Speedway. He won two more times before heading into 2019 with really high expectations. He was furthering his legacy by winning on a plate track that has so much skill required to win there, and he dominated at New York again. The interesting thing about this year, however, was when Elliott committed too hard through one at the Roval, and then shockingly came back to win the race after definitely not getting a bullet bill along the way. This cemented his legacy as the greatest driver of all time, no question. In 2020, Chase Elliott did the best thing in his career, where he sent Joey Logano and wrecked it. And Elliott won after Harvick choked in the most embarrassing way possible. Chase Elliott had become a champion after only five years in the Cup Series. A feat that is very hard to do. Wait, never mind. All of this combined makes us call him one thing. Mickey Mouse Elliott. If you were confused, check the date of when this video was uploaded. We all know who the real goat is anyway.